everybody, and welcome to Three Girls Gabbing. Well, not tonight. Mm. Tonight, it's only two gays gabbing. Two gays. Two. Her. Me. Me. Him. Alex. Christina. Hey. Nice to meet you. How's it going, guys? I'm so excited to be here. So how was your weekend, Christina? It was good. I did not watch the Super Bowl, but... Likewise. Oh Literally likewise. Though, I tuned in to see Lady Gaga perform, and what'd you think? How could you not? I loved her performance. I've literally been listening to Joanne for like the past month, so I was super excited for her performance. I thought she did really well. The only thing I do have to say, I was, I genuinely was anticipating Beyonce. I was waiting for Beyonce and she didn't show. Why did everyone expect that? <laughs> okay, well, I was doing a little bit of research and I found on Entertainment Week, or Entertainment Tonight, excuse me, not Entertainment Weekly, they posted this like crumpled up set list, which they weren't sure if it was real or not. Apparently it's not. And it was saying like, oh, Beyonce enters here, crazy pyrotechnics, telephone, which I think was a major indicator of potentially Beyonce was gonna be there because mm -hmm. that's their duet together. Right. But she didn't show up, but I think Lady Gaga still did amazing. I think so too. I um, really think so. I felt like I was back in middle school <laughs> because all all those throwbacks. <laughs> those throwbacks, like, like high school for me, yeah. but you know. Y yeah. But it, it was Thanks. good. I thought she did amazing. When she opened up with This Land Is Your Land, I just, it was so timely, it was perfect. Her vocals were so on point, so crisp, and I think she really proved herself. And the Joanne tickets, uh, for her tour are going on sale this month. So are you gonna go? I think I just might have to. I think I'm you really should. excited. Maybe we could go together. We should. Should we? we uh, should. Uh, two gays or three girls gapping field trip. I think we should, and then we should record it <clears throat> and then talk about it on the next episode. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I really do like that. Did you see any of the commercials for the Super Bowl? Um. Mm, a little bit. I saw Airbnbs. Um, mm. Their hashtag was we accept or something along those lines, and I loved it. Um, the whole thing was basically about embracing diversity. Um, and like you said with Lady Gaga, it's it. very timely. Very much so. So, very much so it's really good. Overall, I think it was great. And the New England Patriots won, and uh, we're from New England. All right. Yay. Hey, Patriots. I wish I cared a little more, but you know. Same. It's fine. Literally same. Although I was very surprised because my friend was like, who's playing the Super Bowl? I was like, the Atlanta Falcons and the New England Patriots. Oh, you knew it. I knew it. That's I good. knew it because I'm on the internet literally all day. I feel that. But he was like, who's the quarterback for the New England Patriots? And I was like, is it Tom Brady? <laughs> And it was. I was really genuinely surprised because I, I would put money. I like I, I'm speechless because I got it right and I didn't think I would. What about so. Falcons? Who? <laughs> yeah, I. Couldn't I tell you. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't either. Um, didn't even know Brady was a quarterback. Exactly. Literally, what's a quarterback? So, I, I couldn't spell it. I, if you I, asked I, me to. What's football? Like I said, I wrote that on Chris Crocker's Instagram because he he posted a thing. He was like waiting for this Lady Gaga show, and I was like. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Emoji hands, what's football? And I think that sums it up perfectly. We're here for Gaga, we're not here for football. Exactly. So what you guys do that. <laughs> yeah. What about snacks? Snacks? Yes, Ooh, snacks. Girl. I, I have to go classic stuff. Wings. Wings and pizza. Mm. Have to go classic on that one. How pizza. about you? Pizza. Pizza. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the next Super Bowl if you didn't enjoy this one, but we did because Lady Gaga killed it and the New England Patriots won. So cheers to that. <laughs> mm. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so for this next topic, we really wanted to, to discuss, um, you know, tips, whether it be for tips in life, tips for health, tips for beauty, tips for calling into the radio and winning free stuff, because that's my specialty, honestly. Um, have you ever won anything free on the radio, Christina? Are you trying to brag? No! <laughs> nah, um, I actually have, okay. Um, okay. but it was all within like a 10 year span. <laughs> so I won Katy Perry tickets. Oh, I didn't know that. In middle school. Uh, they were nosebleed, but you know, it, it's Tickets something. Exactly. <laughs> um, one Fright Fest, two Six Flags, nice. even though I am a scaredy cat and hate that <laughs> stuff. Same. Um, but this past semester, as you know, I won tickets to see JoJo mm. perform at the Acoustic Cafe at 95.7, and I got to meet her. Mm. I did know that. And it was pretty fantastic. Girl, literally, well, that's amazing. First, first, I didn't know that you won Katy Perry tickets. Yes, I did, I did. That's awesome. Thanks. I would love to see Katy Perry. 
She also performed at the Super Bowl once. But I also saw JoJo. So I know that you won tickets. I know you did. So I won tickets and then I was like telling you guys about it and then you called in. Yes. And you won tickets for the same thing or so I thought was the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm calling you my like, girl, like let's go. We're here. Where are you at? Like let's let's link up for this show. Right. But we won tickets to two separate performances. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so what tips do you have on calling in? Did you did you dial any specific ways? Did you were you super quick with it? Like, just tell me what the process was. You know, I think you're the one that should be answering that question, <laughs> considering you win tickets every week. But um, no, I haven't figured out um, a technique <laughs> to win tickets because you know it doesn't happen that often. I guess it's just luck. And I, when I dial. Yeah, I, I think on my part it's just resilience. In my new job, I'm just literally in the car the whole time. So gotcha. I literally can hear every single time. Gotcha. And I'm just calling in. And I do have to say, for this most recent time. Okay, so chronologically, the first time I ever won tickets, my mother won tickets for me for my first concert ever to the Spice Girls in Hartford. And it was amazing. She also went, tried to win tickets for me to the Britney Spears show, but mm. she didn't win. But she bought them for me anyways because... She's a good mom. Oh. Um, but then after that, I didn't really go to a concert for a while. I did go to um, the summer kickoff concert. Have you ever been to one of those at Six I Flags? I haven't. But aren't, uh, don't they have like a lot of different artists? Well, they do. They do. They used to do it at Six Flags. So literally, it was just like you could, if you didn't win tickets, you could just pay the price of admission and go and be at the park all day and then go see the free show. Right. So we won tickets. So I saw like Simple Plan. Jessica Simpson was there. She wasn't performing. It was when the newlyweds. Do you guys remember that TV show? Chicken, yes, or, chicken yes. or beef or I, tuna or whatever it is. I do, I yeah. do. Yeah, I, I met her. Um, but uh, That's pretty special. Yeah. It was amazing. And then I didn't go to a concert for like a long time. And then I feel like as of lately, mm -hmm. I've definitely been going to a lot of shows. Um, <laughs> the other day, they, they do this thing on um, the radio. It's called Phone Taps on... I love those. Elvis Duran. Girl! Oh my, my god. My favorite show. My favorite morning show. So funny. And anyway, so they do a free money phone tap. So basically, like, they play a new phone tap, and then you call, and you have to be the hundredth caller to win these tickets. I didn't know that. And the other morning, this I'm almost embarrassed to say this, Stop. I literally called in 100 times to the radio. Like, straight up, I called in 100 times. I was really determined to win, but... You didn't win. Oh my God. Right. But the things that I did win, so obviously JoJo, right. went to see her, met her. She was amazing, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see her again in April and I can't even wait. Yes. And then James Arthur, oh my God. Your husband. Literally. Like I love him. I don't know if you guys know of him. He sings that song, Say You Won't Let Go. It's on the radio right now. He won X Factor UK in 2012. He's just a real talent. But anyways, I won tickets to go see him. I got to meet him. And then his managers asked if I would like film this fan video or whatever because I was pretty intoxicated <laughs> and being very loud. And I did. And then they like a few days later, I looked on like his Facebook and they like posted there on his Twitter and stuff like that. And just like so many people were leaving like the nicest comments or whatever. So then I for my Alex analysis, I have a YouTube channel as well. I check it I, out. Check it out. Get really that plug funny. in. Get that plug in. Yep. And like I feel like they definitely helped that video get to the level that it is right now. I'm nice. like a little over more than 400 views on that one. So. Wow, there it's you go. special. Wow, there you go. But yeah, and then as of late, I won more tickets and it's amazing. So just try, because that's, I think that's, I think that's what it is. You can't, it's like the lotto says, you can't win if you don't play. So you call into that radio station and before, and sooner or later, hopefully you'll win. <laughs> I can't promise that you will. And if you don't, just just call. Alex. Just call me. I Alex got the hookup. Sometimes. So yeah, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to winning tickets. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was a wrap up. That's why I was like trying to bring it to a conclusion. Well, we can. Uh... Um. So I can actually go a little bit more. So then, last week was like a big week. I won literally twice in like. A two day spam. All right, who'd you win to? So, <laughs> not to brag or anything. <laughs> no, no, I okay. won tickets to go see Lucas Graham. Okay. So he was coming to, or they, excuse me, I don't know if you guys knew this because I definitely didn't. I thought Lucas Graham was like a guy, like one singer, but like it's a band. So, oh. Didn't know if you knew that. Now you do. 
But anyways, I won tickets to go see them at the at the Wallingford Oakdale. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to go see their acoustic cafe performance because I feel like those are better. Like you get to meet them. They only sing a few songs, but they're their big songs, you know? Right. So what I did, because I, I, I didn't have tickets to go see them at the acoustic cafe. I know I already said that. I emailed this girl, Katie, who had told me that I won the JoJo tickets and the James Arthur tickets. I was like, girl. <laughs> so I didn't know that they were coming. I'm a huge fan. Like I had your email. Sorry for, you know, blowing you up. But like, can a girl get tickets? And she emailed me back and she was like, yeah, like I got you two passes. Wow. So I got to go, yeah, to their acoustic cafe. But then what I did, I did pass along the, t the two concert tickets because, you know, I wanted to pay it forward a little bit, you know? Wow, so I that's gave so those sweet. to friends. Where I was mine? Tried. You know, you know, yeah. it's in the mail. Oh, It'll be there okay. really soon. Okay. The next concert we're going to, I do have to say, I did invite Sarah, our other intern, mm -hmm. to, uh, okay. I'm going to another show on Thursday. I'm going to see DNCE. Oh, so I want I... tickets to them as well. Okay. So I, me and Sarah have been, because she has a YouTube channel as well, we've been talking about how we want to collaborate and stuff. So I was like, oh, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for us to like do something that we can both film for our YouTube channel. So I was like, hey, girl. And she had mentioned how she wants to go to a concert together. That's a good idea. So it was idea. like perfect time. So yeah, hopefully hopefully that'll be a good time. And Ooh. then I can be able to talk about it next Next show. There you go. I'm going to be living vicariously through your uh, Snapchat. Oh, I will post it all over my Snapchat. Thank you. I, I really appreciate will. it. And then Ariana Grande is coming this month. Now, those tickets, I wouldn't want to win tickets to because one thing about winning tickets on the radio, if you do win them to a concert that's not general admission, they're garbage seats. Really? They're they're pretty cruddy seats. Well, I won that explains Katy Perry. Exactly, yeah. you know? Like, it's amazing that sh that we won them. Like, that's amazing. I would I would rather go and sit nosebleed than not go at all. Right. But they're pretty cruddy seats, so I'd, I'd rather pay to go see Ari because she's my shirt of queen, so. Right. Yeah. You know, funny story though. Last summer, I did try winning tickets, uh, Fifth Harmony. Oh, girl, me too, yeah. actually, with JoJo? Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you know I... how the, uh, I think like 95.7 was trying to sell tickets to their sound check? I didn't know that. Okay, well, I had alarms three times a day for a week <laughs> because there was three different times you could win every day. Yeah. Did not happen once. Did not happen once. Girl. I was so upset. I, it's it's like a bit, it's a blow to the heart when like, you is. don't win, you it know? It is, because when you're ready, you're sitting in your car, you're just watching the clock. Exactly. I've like waited, and even with the DNCE tickets, I, I'm convinced that it, I only won because of the time of day that it was. It was like 2.20, because I do tickets on the 20s, like a, a, a Saturday afternoon. People were busy, people were out and about. It was oh, a nice true. day, you know? But anyways, you had to be caller nine. I called in, I was caller three. She's like, caller three, call back again. Hung up, called back again, and then I was caller nine. Oh, so I was like, that's weird. Good to know to try on the busy days. Yeah, so that's another technique, another you know thing to try is okay. try on the off times. When I won the Lucas Graham tickets, it was at like 7.40 in the morning. So on Thursday. So again, you got to try at these odd times. Don't be trying at 9 a.m. when people are in their car driving to work. Don't be trying at 5 p.m. in the afternoon when, again, people are coming home from work. Rush hour. Those are the busy times. Don't try in those off times. Yeah. So it's possible. Just don't ever, just don't ever give up. And you'll win tickets like Christina and myself. Wise words so. from Alex Sessoms. Cheers to that, Christina. Yep. I better win Fifth Harmony tickets next time. <laughs> well, you know what? I think there's actually a radio contest right now, so I think we should go call, and yeah. then we'll come back, and we can just talk about some more. All right, yeah, let's do that. So Bye. we will see you guys in just a minute. Stay tuned for Two Gays Gabbing. I used to watch Flavor yeah. of Love. That was my show, which yeah. essentially is the same thing. What was that? Right? Basically, like, the more ghetto hood rat version <laughs> of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. Oh. What up, everybody? Welcome back. You already know what it is. Two Gays Gabbing for today. Three girls gabbing going forward. Um, so I don't know about you, Christina, but I'm a big fan of film and music. Mm -hmm. And there's two pretty big award shows coming up. The Oscars and the Grammys. Oh, really? This month, the month of February. Not sure um, if, you know, this will air before or after that. So we're going to give our nominations. But if you see this after... At least you'll know for sure who won or who didn't. So we won't. And I hope your favorite won. And if it didn't, then oh well. But um, so yeah, what what Oscar nominated movies have you seen this season? Well, um, I've seen La La Land with Girl. Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling, and can I just say, really good, really good. I loved it. 
I agree. I definitely agree. Um, I talked about this on my YouTube channel, but Damien Chazelle, he did Whiplash, which he won Oscars for for his previous film, which was amazing. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's about mm -hmm. a drummer. And uh, this film, I think, was honestly even better. I watched in a Hollywood Reporter roundtable that he actually wrote this film before he wrote Whiplash, and he only did Whiplash to essentially make this film. So... Uh -huh. Oh, that's amazing, and it just goes to show to never give up on your dreams, no matter what scale you're on, because even when you're at the top of the top, you still don't always get to do what you want, so don't ever give up. There you go. Exactly. La La Land made me actually uh, be excited for jazz. I'm actually going to a piano bar this week. Really? Ryan yeah. Gosling's character would be, Gosling's character would be really proud, because yeah. he doesn't want jazz to die. I know, I know. So, yeah. we'll see how that so goes. what did you think of his performance? He's great. He's just a... Uh, all around great guy, so. Yeah. You know, because I know him. You know. Yeah. I, I saw you texting with him earlier. I didn't want to yeah. interrupt, but I thought that was him. I didn't want to brag either. Shopping. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought he did a really good job in comparison to uh, to Casey Affleck in um, Manchester by the Sea. I don't know who was better. But we're going to scratch that. Uh, I feel like I jumped to Manchester to him. But anyways, okay, so... Um, so yeah, in comparison, between him and uh, Emma Stone, I thought they were both great. Mm -hmm. I thought Emma Stone almost did a little bit better, though, than he did. I really thought she was great. Yeah. I thought she was so amazing. That song at the end, her audition song. Yeah. I was welling up inside. Yeah. Honestly, truly. I'm not going to lie. Same with me. Yeah. And can we talk about the end of the movie? Because... We can. We can. We're... Spoiler. Are we going to give spoilers on here? I think we are. not give spoilers I think we are. I mean, here? by now, I feel like everyone who's wanted to see it has seen it. Exactly. So, uh, why do they not end up together? <laughs> why? Honestly, part of me is like, maybe I'm just a little too cynical. I'm like, because that's what happens in real life. Yeah. <laughs> but... It was really sad, and I it think was. I think they got closure at the end because, like, when she showed up at that club, like, she saw that he named it what she had proposed he did, <laughs> and he's doing jazz, which she wanted him to be doing. Mm -hmm. But, like, that flashback scene was just, like, really sad and was like, oh, I want them to be together so badly. Basically, but, that whole movie gave me these feels. Pretty much. These I think feels. Pinpoint. Pinpoint right on the nose right there. Yeah. But, yeah, bottom line, La La Land was a great film. It was. And if you're looking to watch any Oscar-nominated film or even films post-Oscars, Check out La La Land because honestly, it was a great film. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. Even There's though we just music. ruined it, you know. Pretty much, but you know what? You it's still fine. want to see it for yourself. You, you do. still want to see it for yourself. And the music in it, like, so good. I thought it was really good. So good. Really good. And John Legend is in it. What do you think of his performance? Um, it was good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. I feel like he's kind of overrated, but that's like, you know, it's a whole nother. It's a whole nother, nother topic for a whole nother day for a whole nother group of girls. So yeah, when Nicole's here. And on that note, um, <laughs> so did Manchester by the Sea, since I brought it up before, why don't we just go ahead and move on to that one? Did you see that? I did not, but I have okay. a feeling you're going to talk about it. <laughs> well, you're, you figured. Right. Okay. Um, Manchester by the Sea, I was really excited to see this film. I, when I, after seeing the trailer, I was like, oh my God, like I, I, I'm already crying right now. I just have to go see it. It looks so good. <laughs> but after actually seeing the film... Even though it was still very good, and anybody who was a part of making that film should be super proud, it wasn't my favorite. I was not blown away. Why not? I just think that... Because it got so much hype. It really did. It did. But not, not as much as La La Land, because La La Land stole everything at the Golden Globes. That's and, true. It you know, swept. Literally. But I just think that Ryan Gosling's character... I mean... <laughs> I think that Casey <laughs> Affleck's character, I would have loved to see him make a bigger transformation for him to, like, move forward, where I don't necessarily know if he did. Maybe it was just very subtle, which, again, you know, maybe it's just really depicting life and shows that, like, literally not everything happens with a happy ending. Right. But I definitely think it's still worth going to see, but I don't, like... I, I personally wasn't blown away. I'll just leave it at that. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay, well... What else is nominated? Huh. I know that uh, Fences, which I really want to see, is nominated. Okay, why? Tell me about it. Well, Fences is a play mm -hmm. by August Wilson, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Google's a really good tool. But, <laughs> um, and yeah, so Denzel's in it. Viola Davis is in it. Oh, I love her. Yeah. It's so she, great. And actually, Viola Davis and Michelle Williams, who was in Manchester by the Sea, they're both nominated, I think, for Best Supporting Actress. 
Well deserved. Yeah, but you go Viola. I, honestly, I haven't seen Fences yet. I'm about to watch it tonight. Actually, I have it on bootleg, and <laughs> um, I'm gonna watch it tonight. And I, I think that even from the trailer alone, I think Viola should get the award. I genuinely, honestly do, because she just kills it. Honestly, I should check it out. You absolutely should. should. And uh, I think one of the main reasons I want to see that is because a couple of years ago when I was going to school for theater, uh -huh. I did a monologue from Fences for like oh. a class. So like, oh, okay. I feel very tied to the project. Right. And I have to go support it. So mm -hmm. yeah. And it's Black History Month now. So it's like, of course I want to go see it. There Not that go. I did in any other month, but like specifically this month. There you go. So go check out Fences because Denzel's in it. And like, <laughs> who doesn't love Denzel? Exactly. It's a pretty good time. Yeah. I think the last one we should talk about, it's a film called Moonlight, which I have not seen, but my mm -hmm. best friend has been like raving about it. It's actually about um, a black gay man. So I really want to go see it. Yeah. And that's the extent of it that I know. That so. representation though. Mm -hmm. You don't find it a lot. You surely don't, especially not an uh, Oscar nominated film. Exactly. So, and that's another thing. I feel like last Oscars, people were boycotting it because there wasn't a lot of mm -hmm. like African Americans nominated for things. And yeah. this, this year, I really think that there is. Mm -hmm. So, I think it just goes to show, especially with everything else that's been going on in the world, you know, lately, people mm -hmm. have a voice, and when they use it, change happens, hopefully. So, true. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go. So, yeah. But I feel like, um, I think that the Oscars are going to be great, and I think that all the movies are amazing, and I definitely want to see all of them, even though I know that I won't get to, but yeah, you yeah. guys should check them all out. You should. You should also check out some stuff that's going to be hitting the Grammys. Girl, I totally forgot about the Grammys. The Grammys. So Bieber, Bieber is nominated. Uh, yeah, I'm totally with you. <laughs> um, also Adele. Wait. Yeah. Oh, can't forget those. There you go. There you go. Deli, Deli Belly. I love her. This is Justin. <laughs> Down with him. Yeah. And uh, what else is nominated? Oh, B. Yeah, oh, nominated. Uh, yeah. How can we forget that? I don't. I don't think that we can. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. You know. But see, part of me is like, even though Beyonce and Adele are amazing, and I want them to win everything always. Right. Like they've definitely won plenty. So like. But maybe, like, let's give it to, like, well, but at the same time, like, Drake's nominated and, like. They're all big names. Exactly. So, I mean, so if we're going to give it to a big name, we Lucas might as well Graham. give it to. <laughs> is he even nominated for this? Um, Lucas know. Graham actually is nominated. When I went to their show, they mentioned how they were nominated for three. Okay. Um, so let's, let's hope. Some Grammys. underdogs get them. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure their song Seven Years is actually nominated for like Song of the Year. So. Song makes me so sad. It's... I know everyone loves it. <laughs> I mean it's a good song. It is. It's a tearjerker. It's sad. Yeah. But yeah, so let's give our let's give our um our guesses. So for for okay. uh, Grammy album of the year, out of these listed here, so we have Adele with 25. We have Justin Bieber with Purpose. We have Drake with Views. We have Beyonce with Lemonade. And we have an artist, um, that I'm not completely sure of their name, but um, it's an album that's called A Sailor's Guide to Earth. It's a, I think it's a much more smaller band. Right. Um, but who do you who, who do you think is gonna win? What's uh, your prediction? Honestly, I feel like everyone loves Beyonce. Mm. So I feel like she's just gonna win again. You gonna go with it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I almost feel the same way, yeah. but I, I almost want to say Adele strictly because I know Beyonce is going to win it. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. I think I'm going to go with Adele only because it's Adele. And if there's one person that can beat out Beyonce for it an award, be, it'd be her. It's Adele. Yeah. So that's true. Yeah. So why don't you guys go ahead and tell us who you think is going to win for album of the year. And if you are seeing this after the Grammys and the Oscars, tell us what you thought of who did win if it wasn't your favorite. So... Yeah, let's. I think honestly, right now, this is a good place. We should just go listen to all the albums. We should go watch all the films right now. Let's do that. And we'll see everybody else next month. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much see you then. for tuning in. And uh, we will see you guys next time on Three Girls Gabbing slash Two Gabbing Gays for today. Thank you guys so much and have a great week. Have a great month. We will see you guys in March. See you then. <laughs> Cheers. So good. <laughs> Should I down this? Well, yes. <laughs> I think we should both down this and pour one another glass. <laughs>